Wastewater Dam presents Wastewater Math Calculated with Excel Spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example, calculate mean cell residence time, MCRT days. Today's problem reads, activated sludge plant has flow of 4.24 MGD, effluent TSS 22.1 MG slash L, volumes MG, aeration tank 1, clarifier 0.25. Aeration tank MLSS, 2,450 milligrams per liter. Waste activated sludge flow MGD, 0.065. And TSS milligrams per liter, 99.80. Calculate mean cell residence time MCRT days. So this is the basic formula for controlling the activated sludge process uh, to calculate MCRT days. Now I've taken the basic formula and I divided it into three segments. And I'm putting the solution from those three segments into this formula. And I have also produced separately three standalone videos for each solution for each of these segments. So I'm going to refer to the three videos. Um, but I'm going to make the um, solution here uh, very uh, straightforward. So let's just get started, see how we get this in an Excel spreadsheet. So you can go to a blank press spreadsheet, put your cursor in C1, you can type in this description, calculate mean cell residence time, NCRT days, and the answer is going to be in days. And A1, you can uh, set this as um, whole numbers with and uh, bold and centered. And then in the address bar, you can type in this address. Uh, equal to open parentheses 25 541 close parentheses division key two open parentheses 54 10 close parentheses plus sign open parentheses 781 three close parentheses press enter and in cell one will be your answer four so four MCRT days is the answer with this data now let's see how we get these three numbers that we inserted into the segments so we're going to come down and we're going to show you how we calculate MLS as an activated sludge system. We're going to show you how we calculate MLS as wasted per day and how we calculate TSS effluent per day. So the first one is the 25541 MLS as an activated sludge system. And here is the solution, is the description, there's the link, and there's your 25541. You go to the video and you can see that if you want to see that one. Uh, the other one I want to show you is the MLSS wasted per day, 5410. You come down here and you can see here it is, uh, MLSS wasted per day, 5410. You see this is a link and you can see what we've used in the video here. So you can go see that one if you want that for some education. And then the third video I'm going to refer you to is the one where we calculate TSS effluent per day, 781. And you come on down here into this video, and there's your 781 TSS effluent per day. There's your uh, link, and this is the uh, formula. All right, so those are the three. Now I have a fourth video, which is a bonus, bonus video I'm providing you. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this MCRT days formula, we're going to flip it around. Instead of solving for MCRT days, I'm going to solve for plant flow. And I'm going to put this MCRT days into the formula. So this is a little more involving, but if you want to see how we do that, you can simply go to um, this video, Calculate Plant Flow Using MCRT, and you'll see we're using all the same data that we had in the other. Uh, you see we're coming up with an answer of 4.24. And the only th and this is a link. You see the link there. The only thing we've done different here is that we had to take the um, the MCRT day result that we had up on the first video, and we had to show it as nine decimals in here, put it in as nine decimals in here to give us the same answer. But that's it. That's all of the videos. I think there's five videos in this. I hope you found it useful and helpful. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I encourage you to participate and interact. If so, go to my website, environmentalacademy.com. Click on the contact link, fill out, submit. 
and then I'll receive the email and reply back. In any event, thanks for listening to this five-minute video, and see you soon.